Ooh. I just woke up from, <clears throat> damn, my throat still. I just woke up from a nice nap, and I was like, oh shoot, I need a video to do. So, why am I whispering? So before I get into today's video, I'm gonna call out one of my friends who keeps roasting me or just keeps, I don't know, bugging me on social media. So this is from my I Got Robbed video, and she wrote, Messy, the word you're looking for is messy, belt catch 22, kiss my teeth. Yo, get off my pages. Every time I do polls on Instagram, she always clicks the negative option. And you know who you are, and I've spoken to you about this before. Bye. <laughs> anyway, so now let's get back into the video. Oh, this actually, the light is so blinding. Oh my gosh. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to talk about the time that I ended up on the news. And it has to do with cosplay. So this is around the time of the Last Jedi premiere. So both me and my friend, we were at um, the Last Jedi premiere in Toronto. And I was just as Finn, and she was just as Rey. And we were taking pictures with people because they saw us in costume. And it was just so nice because you're seeing fans interact with fans. And it's just a great experience overall. So then at the corner of our eye, we see this woman from CP24. So then she comes over to us and she said that she wants to do an interview with us. And I was like, damn, an interview with me? <laughs> so I was like, yeah, sure, this sounds so cool. So then she asked us what we do, and we explained what cosplay is and costuming, and reason why we do it, and why we like to do it. And basically, that's in the interview here, so I'm just going to stop talking, and we're going to go straight into the interview. And thank you guys for watching, and here we go. It's a big night for diehard Star Wars fans. CP24's Courtney Hills at Scotiabank Theater catching up with a lot of fans who are excited, Courtney, about this franchise that is being shown in that theater. A lot of folks dressing up too. Yeah, I feel like excitement is an understatement. This is definitely the buzz here at the theater. Everyone's talking about this new film with Star Wars and the buzz is that this is going to be one of the best in the franchise. So I want to bring in Isaac and Stephanie now. You guys are costumers, so tell us what that means exactly. Uh, that means that we just, you know, do our best and we just make costumes that are the characters that we want to do and then we just do it for like charity events. So tell us about your characters today. Uh, so right now I'm Finn from the movie. Okay. So um, it, like a lot of work went into this. I have like weathering done so I had to make it look a little bit dirty. Yeah. And then also I got like the cuts from the last movie and also on the back here as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. A lot of work went into this. A lot of work and a lot of messy hands. <laughs> Stephanie, what about you? So I'm Ray. Um, I commissioned the fabric and the costume from underneath here uh, from Jennifer Joan and then I made the poncho myself because I'm cold. <laughs> Smart, because it's cold out there. Yes. No, you guys are also fans of Star Wars. Yes. What is it about this franchise that makes people so dedicated? They love it so much. I mean, there were people here who were in a marathon for 18 hours. <laughs> what I think it is, I think it's like every generation grows up with Star Wars. Like, everyone knows it. It's in culture so much. It's 40 years old. And to me, I love, like, the representation the most. I love that I can dress up as one of my favorite characters who looks like me, which is, like, absolutely, like, that means, like, the most to me. Yeah. And, like, to other people, that means, like, the world. Yeah. So that's and, what I love. And you know what I think is really cool? A lot of people come up to you guys. They want to take photos with you because they think it's so neat that you are dressing up. What does that mean to you as a fan to see that? I mean, honestly, it's beautiful. Like you said, the representation is incredible. You know, we finally have strong female characters. I hate that word because all characters that are female are strong, in my opinion. But, yeah, you know, it's, it's a great thing. Like, we have a female leading a very male-dominated franchise. And yeah, I just, I think it's really wonderful. <laughs> now the buzz is this will be the movie of the year. Do you think it will be? Absolutely. Yeah. No question. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, guys. Really great speaking with you. I love the costumes. I really love the energy in here too. So you mentioned in the other, there are a couple of screenings here. We've been catching fans of, they've been going in and out. Many of them who have had the chance to see out already say it's fantastic that this is totally worth the hype. We're going to hang out here and continue to speak with those fans. Back to you. All right. You're wetting a lot of appetites from folks that are watching at home. Courtney, thank you so much for that.